Welcome back to Wake Up America. I'm Sarah Williamson. The United Arab Emirates is going where no Middle East country has gone before. A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launched last week from Cape Canaveral Space Station in Florida, carrying an Arab lunar spacecraft. Jerusalem correspondent Daniel Cohen is live near Tel Aviv with the major milestone. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Sarah. Good morning to you and good morning, everyone. The UAE is celebrating an exciting achievement that's out of this world. Somewhat lost in the madness surrounding the World Cup in Qatar, the Emirates successfully launched the first ever Arab-built lunar spacecraft. People watched in awe from the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center in Dubai as the Falcon 9 rocket fired and lifted into dark skies on December 11th. The Rashid rover is being developed, excuse me, delivered, I should say, by a Japanese lunar exploration company. Now, if the landing is successful, Japan's iSpace will become the first commercial company to make a controlled landing on the moon. Listen to how nervous the leaders of the Emirati team were in the final minutes before the launch. The last moments before the launch, it's true, they were only a few minutes but felt like an hour. We were nervous and wanted this project to succeed and for the rocket to launch and dismantle because we want the UAE's journey to the moon to officially begin. And begin it has. The mission's taking a low-energy route to the moon. It's due to arrive around April 2023. The rover will then analyze plasma on the moon's surface and conduct experiments to understand more about lunar dust. The rover will be entirely solar-powered, equipped with four cameras, including a microscopic and a thermal one. It's worth mentioning the rover has been designed to withstand the lunar night where temperatures can reach almost 300 degrees below zero. All right, not impressed yet? Well, listen to this. The UAE is hoping to build the first human settlement on Mars by 2117. I know what you're thinking. That sounds a long way off, but Emirati engineers are hoping this lunar mission is a stepping stone to the red planet. And Sarah, they're planning to launch a second moon rover as early as 2025. Sarah? Daniel, I remember interviewing uh, members of this team, the UAE space team, when I was in Israel as well, and it was a number of years ago. It is incredibly impressive. They're doing a fantastic job over there. So, Daniel Cohen, thank you very much.